everybody, welcome back to Glam Me Up. Today I have another easy nail tutorial to show you guys, and I try to make all of my nail tutorials pretty easy, nothing really hard and complicated, but I also like them to look like you did put a lot of effort into them, that way they look nice, and they're always pretty creative and neat, so I like sharing these with you guys because I know if I try to think of an idea, I want to share it with you guys so you can have a good nail tutorial like for the summer or whatever, and it's just always fun instead of just the plain nail polish colors that we always tend to stick to. It's always nice to kind of add something to it, so... So this is what it looks like, and I call this Neon Zebra because it's got the bright neon colors underneath, and then it's got the zebra stripes on top, and this is super easy. It looks way more harder than what it is. This is what they look like, and you don't have to have really long nails to do this. Mine um, are kind of in between. They're not really short, but I did cut them down because they were long, but this is the length of them. As you can see, Like they're just barely over the tips of my nails, so... I would recommend having them about this long, but if you have shorter nails, you can always make it work because it's not good to have really long nails and do these designs because then it can look kind of scary. It might be a little overpowering, but if you like it, then go for it. But I don't like to have super long nails when I do crazy designs like this. I want them to be kind of medium to where you have enough room to work with, but they're not really long and scary like with the zebra and everything. But I did try to grow them out a little bit before I did this because it gives you more room to work with. But you can always just make the stripes thinner if you have smaller nails, but this is what it looks like up close. I'm not sure if that's focusing for you all, but you will see it up close in the tutorial. All of the nail polishes that I'm using, I will have them linked below and on my blog, and you should still be able to find them all. Um, you should be able to get all of them in stores except for the shorty pants, which is the yellow. You're not going to be able to find that in stores because it's from an old collection, but you can find it online, and I will find it for you guys and link it for you all. And then the black is just a nail art nail polish, and I also have that link for you guys, and you can get that at drugstores. You can do this with any colors. You don't have to use the pink, orange, and the yellow. You can do, like, a neon pink, a teal, and a blue or something. I tried that, too, and it did look really nice, but I like the colors that are similar, like kind of the sunset colors, but you can also use contrasting colors, too. It's whatever you like. The orange and the yellow aren't exactly like neon colors. The pink is the neon one, but I didn't really have a neon for every single color. But if you had like a neon yellow and a neon orange and the pink, it would look really good. Or you can always just paint your nails one color and then do these zebra stripes over top of it. Like if you wanted to paint them white or hot pink or purple or something or any color you want, you can just paint them and then do the zebra over top. So I'm going to stop talking now and we're going to go ahead and get into the tutorial. I hope you guys like it. Okay, so I've already done this hand, and this is what they look like so far. I don't know if the lighting is picking up the neon colors, but I will have pictures. It's just a neon pink with the orange stripe and then the yellow stripe, and then I've got the zebra stripes on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you with the next hand how to do this. So I've already applied my base coat, and I just used the Orly Bonder. This is my favorite base coat. So the first color that I'm going to use is the color here on the bottom, and this is a neon pink color, and this is China Glaze, and this is in Shocking Pink. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to the bottom of my nail. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with my pinky just so I can show you guys easier. So I'm just kind of dabbing it up like that. I'm just kind of filling in the spaces because this polish is kind of hard to get it like a smooth color. But it's okay if it's not perfect because you're going to be putting the stripes over it anyways. So see how my line's not perfect but we're going to be going over it with the next color anyways. So. So I'm going to go ahead and do this on all my nails, that way they're dry, that way when you do go over it you're not going to smear anything, so I'm going to go ahead and do all the same color on each nail. It's hard to paint sideways and with my other hand, so... But this is nail art, so of course it's not going to be perfect. If you want to straighten out the line, you can just by doing that with your nail and then wiping off the excess polish. So that's good enough for that one. There's still a few little like gaps, but I'll go back over that. It's best to just let the layers dry first. You can also kind of paint it like a V like this at the base and then go across like that. That kind of helps as well. And since you're painting so close to the base of the nail, you're going to get it on your cuticle, so you want to make sure you get that off. Do not let that dry like that, because it's just going to peel right off. Okay, so just taking a cuticle stick like this, go over the base of the nail like that to clean it off. Okay, so I've already applied the hot pink color, so now I'm going to go in with the orange. This is OPI and Nicole Alert, it looks like. Yeah. 
it's just an orange color. I wish I had a more neon orange, but this is the only like orange that looks decent with it. But a neon orange would look really good with this, like a hot orange. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And the middle stripe is probably the easiest. So because you can cover it up, you can cover up the um, pink. And then you can also, if you make a mistake with orange, you can cover it up with the yellow. So it's probably the easiest one to do. I'm going to get about that much on your brush. Not too much and not too little. You can just kind of go in from each side. Make sure you get the edges really good. And make sure you don't press down too hard because if you do press down hard, you end up getting that like dent in the middle. I don't know if the lighting's picking that up, but. Just gonna try to fill that in. You want to make sure you're doing a thick enough line to where it's not too thin to where you have a lot of the yellow. So you want to just make sure that they're all pretty even. So you can see how it just really covers up the like jagged pink line really well. If you make any mistakes it's okay because the colors are so similar they just kind of blend anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a second coat of each of these just because it wasn't very opaque. I'm going to go in with the yellow, and this is Essie Shorty Pants, and this is just a very bright yellow. It's not a neon yellow. Again, if I had a neon yellow, I would use it, but it's just that bright kind of medium yellow. It's not really a pastel either, and I have featured this in recent videos um, along with that neon pink, so definitely check this out. So the last um, stripe is actually pretty easy too because you can smooth it out because you can bring it up to the tip like that to smooth it out, which helps. I actually like doing this with the SC polishes better because since they are thinner and more sheer, you can like, they just apply easier when you're doing stripes because you don't get those bumps, like the ridges in it, since they're so thin. Okay, now I'm just going to apply that second coat. Okay, so once you get all the colors on there, it looks a lot better. So now I'm going to wait for that to dry completely before I do the zebra stripes because you don't want any of it to smear. Okay, so now for the nail art part with the zebra stripes, I'm going to be using this Kiss Nail Art Paint, and this is the black one. This came in a set of a white one and a silver glitter one, and I got it at the drugstore. So now I'm going to do the zebra stripes. And it's actually really easy. It looks harder than what it is. So I'm taking about this much on my brush, as you can see a little bit starting to drip down, so you're just going to wipe that off the edge. And you're just going to start down here at the bottom and then just kind of flick it up like that. Then you're going to come here to the other side and just flick it over. Like that. Okay. 
and just keep working your way all the way up to the top. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this is zebra stripe, so of course they're never going to be perfect. You can even make these kind of like jaggedy if you want them to. Just do them all kind of random. Or you can make them all uniform and the same if you want. I think it looks kind of better when you do kind of mess up and get a little squiggly with it because it makes it look more real. So this is how I did it on this hand. They're a little bit more neater looking on this hand. And that's this one. So that is it. It's pretty easy. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my Sesh Feet top coat. This is my favorite top coat of all time. You guys are going to talk about this. But make sure, definitely make sure that your black is completely dry before you do this because it is going to smear the stripes. So you want to make sure it's dry before you apply your top coat. I just want to get a better look at that in the light. That's what they look like. And I'll have pictures up and everything. And I'll have links to where you can see more on these polishes wherever I've talked about them. So... So that is it for my easy neon zebra nail art. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I want to see if you guys recreated this. So please leave me a video response. Or you can tweet me pictures. Or just tell me if you did it or anything. Or how you did it. Or if you did a different variation of it. I would love to see it. So definitely let me know if you guys try this out. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye everybody.